Here I have all of the parts laid out from the parts car. And here's one of the cars I'm going to repair from some of the parts. You can see here that the front axle down here, there's the piece where the wheel connects. And this one is broken off. So I'm going to attempt to use this one to fix it. But first, I'm going to try to take this one apart to see if I can do it without breaking it. That's a concern. I don't want to break my replacement part. So I'll try taking this one apart first and see if that works. And if it does, then I'll attempt this one and put it together. And like I said, I'm also going to take some of these parts, like this entire car. I'll take the tires off first, or this chassis, and these pickups. And while I'm at it working, I might break this one down too. It's not terrible, but you can see it's kind of old and tarnished. And my concern is, you know, inside there where the pickups touch, um, I really want good contact. So maybe I'll soak this chassis too. And also needed um, an extra set of screws. So I got three. I still need more though, because I'm actually, I borrowed one from this car to put on this car. So I need one to replace that. But then this car <laughs> came without any screws. So I'm still short a screw. I was explaining how this TCR part is really touchy. This is the front end. Um, and it, you can see I'm holding actually where the wheel attaches to it. But there's the little tabs there that push through so the the bottom piece pushes through the top and this was already broken one of the axles was already broken off of it so I used it as a test to see you know how to take it apart and I did get the other one apart without breaking it so I'm going to try to show you here how I did it So you really you have to be really careful and grab just under the yeah you, you got to get the needle nose on the top of the tab. I'm not sure that this is going to pick it up. It's really tough. It's not easy to do. Just got to be really patient with it is all. All right, there, I got it. Not sure that the video is doing it much justice, but. Yeah, so it, they're pretty touchy. I'm going to keep this one. And yeah, you would just gently, you don't have to use the pliers to put it back together. You can just. You can't really see if I don't do it, though. You would just really gently put that back on. Not doing a very good job. Obviously you can't hold on the part where the pin is or it won't go on. There we go. All right. So that'll give you an idea. These pickup springs on these cars are really small. You can take a paper clip and make a little tool out of it to make it easier to get these out of here. Uh, I would recommend keeping a plastic, little plastic Ziploc baggie 
um, on hand to keep the springs in so you don't lose them. Also put just a little bit of, I put just a little bit of uh, lithium grease on that peg to help hold the spring in place when you replace the uh, pickups. Corvette axle has been repaired and they're restored and they run really well. You can see the pickups are getting kind of hacked up and dirty because I've been running them on the track. But they're fully restored and back to work and having fun with them. They, uh, they're a little temperamental as um, all of the past, the, all of the power passers are kind of temperamental to be honest. The lane changing is uh, not the best on all of them, but you know what? They're still fun and they're really, they're really unique uh, designs. They really are pretty crazy and really kind of cool looking. They just have their own look and actually probably their own scale. They're probably not quite uh, HO scale. They're a little different. You can see here's some uh, TCR, ideal TCR cars. Their scale is probably closer to HO. But anyhow, yeah, really cool Corvettes.